Uh, no, he's, we can never force him to talk to us. Obviously, he's, uh, he has rights and he can, he, he can uh, not talk to us if he doesn't want to, um, suspect or not. But um, uh, the only time it's going to turn out to be, you know, to be, uh, we, is it going to be an accident or murder is we find out how she went in the water. If she, was she placed in the water? Was she unconscious and then placed in the water? Was she put in the water by somebody? Um, so, or did she accidentally fall in the water and nobody helped her? I'm, I'm sorry, was that? Has the no. Uh, we have not. We have gotten a lot, of a lot of calls, people calling again and saying they have some information to give us. Yeah. So we have been picking up uh, quite a few callers, uh, people leaving tips. Well, uh, and I'm no expert on this, but I know his original story, what he said that happened that weekend, um, you know, they're all talking in the salon. She went down below to the, the stateroom, their bedroom, and next thing he knows, he goes, checks on her, and she's gone. And so he figures, oh, she must have gotten the dinghy and went into town in her pajamas, in her socks, in the middle of the night. For some reason, she's going to, and it's raining out, she's going to go take the dinghy, which she never drives, probably doesn't know how to drive it, and take it into town. <clears throat> when, the, when the Vern suggests, hey, we should turn on the, the light to look for her, he says, no, no, no. Instead of saying, yeah, let's look for her, no, 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 we'll turn on the light on. Well, he says, we should call somebody. No, 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 let's wait. And, 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 and he's on a boat himself. He can unhook his own boat and go look for her. He doesn't even do that. Instead, he takes the Vern up to the top of the boat, starts plying him with alcohol for the next hour and a half, getting him drunk while they wait around to see what happens. How many times have you... <clears throat> I think we, we reached out to him like at least two or three times and uh, uh, through him and through his attorney and, and uh, he's refused to talk to us. And, and these two new witnesses, as an investigator, 30 years has elapsed and suddenly they remember something that is very interesting to you. I mean, people tend to change their view of things as time goes on and maybe they think it's, I mean, how credible are these new witnesses? Our biggest, our biggest challenge is time, right? Many of the witnesses have passed away. Uh, people were on boats nearby. Um, the original investigator on the case uh, passed away recently. So it's like, um, uh, you're right, the time's our biggest enemy here. We can only do what we can do. This our <clears throat> so we're reaching out one last time, see if people, anybody else will come forward with the information they know. Like I said, we're already getting a bunch more calls just by doing this, uh, and um, um, people are calling in and, and uh, offering some, some information. So it seems productive.